Good morning, everyone. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, good morning, everyone. A massive shout out to Consuming It World for sending me the stuff for this job today. And don't forget to go and check out the website. Um, they have a massive range of stuff. Um, CJR10, basically. No commission there. CJR10 is the code. Just survive on my, my old Bundy 10. My old code, Bundy 10. CJR10 is the new code. <laughs> So we're replacing the fuse board today under a stairway. Um, it's plastic. We'll, we'll get there, we'll show you. The customer knows that we're coming and he knows that we're filming today. Um, I'm gonna go and pick James up. I'm absolutely shattered because we're doing long, long 14 hour days this week pretty much. Just helping out a friend um, with some um, NHS bits. So we will, I'm gonna get James, we'll get to the job and then we'll. I'll give you a little tour of the old consuming it under the stairs and then hopefully we will crack on right this is the cupboard of choice for today i've got a paint pot and a coffee thank you richard all right it's going to be a tight squeeze today so we're changing this for a 14 way rcbo spd fuse box board cjr10 if you want the code um, this is going, this is going, this is an old doorbell, doesn't work anymore, they've got wireless. We are going to keep away from the gas, so I'm going to push this board probably to the right-hand side of the meat board. That will give us our 300 um, away from this gas, okay? Um, other things to note, we're going to upgrade the tails. Um, we'll get into that shortly. Um, yeah, basically I've been here, done an ERCR. There's a few things, look, 16 on the lights. Um, no RC protection on the lights. This is a fire stairs, so it's got plastic board. So really, this wants to be metal. It's the only time I ever really um, request um, the client to get the board changed when it's on the stairwell, okay? And this isn't proper um, fire rated board at all. This is like a horrible board they've put up. So um, yeah, if there was a fire here, this would take the stairs with it. So what we're gonna do is change this board and I'll just work through it as I go. <laughs> What are you doing? Right, we're just waiting now. Client client number one is on a Zoom call. Client number two is on his phone and on the laptop. So, can't turn it off yet. So we're just waiting. But I'll drink my coffee anyway. That's a weird white hair, look. Right, we are now isolated. What I've done is mark up my tail, my cables. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay. And we can rip this out and then start mocking up our new board. This is um, out. Huh? There you go. Is it out? This yeah. is just a. Um, I was just uh, um, saying to James like, well, when I mark these up, I only mark the reds because we've got the double insulation on the cables. Whereas in the commercial, it's single insulated cables. You can't trace them back that easy unless you trace it back to the first accessory light, whatever. So in a domestic, it's a lot easier because we've got the double insulation. And what I'm doing now is just stripped all the cables out. I'm going to get these disconnected, take the board off, offer the new one up. I've got to strip out the old door bar, as I said, and then we can see how we're going to fit into that cap. So if you imagine this was a wooden house, look, what's going to happen if we get a fire in this fuse board? Luckily we got brick here. Uh, there, look, red brick. But um, This is how I used to do it, bring all the cables in the cavity back in the day, which is a bit naughty, but what can you do? I can't do anything with it. We're coming back entry there. Grommet strip that's come with a fuse box board is actually fairly decent, so I'm happy with that. What I'll then do is I'll, I'll then put my ever make far seal in the back um, just to give this a bit of fire protection. We know we're not going to have a fire, but it's better to be belt and braces rather than not, eh? I've got three of the fixings in. As you can see that, don't push that back to the wall and just fix that because that's where that wants to sit now, naturally. So what we'll do is pack some washers behind there. It's only two or three washers, give it five or six mil, and then I'll put the last screw through there. It will just mean that this is gonna sit flush. This is the biggest problem with BG boards, this flexing of the lid, but the fuse box aren't too bad, but you don't want to fix that with that much gap, okay? Right, the board is nice and secure now. I have, I've had to put a cable tie there because the cables just wanna push Sorry, pull themselves back into the cavity there. Um, obviously, we need the double insulation coming into enclosure, really. So um, I've pulled that in there. What I'm going to do now is fit the rail back in. 
with the SPD, the main switch, and the MCB for the SPD. That's going to go back in. Then I'm going to start working out my circuits. I will space these out. We've got the miniature RCBOs. Personal preference, if you don't want to space them out, just stack them all one end and leave the spaces there. But because some of these cables are going to be short, they're only going to reach straight into these RCBOs. For me, it's better to space them out because I can space them over here and the cables will run straight in rather than um, jointing them. So I was going to time lapse this board, but they never seem to turn out exactly as I like. So I'm just going to stop start as I'm doing, talk you through what I've done. So I've put my rail back in. I've got my tails in. We're using the existing 10 mil earth, which is fine. TNS. Got our new tails in ready to go. Flexi tails come up, go through the clamp. They're in nice, no copper showing. Haven't talked anything up yet. I've just done it hand tight. Got the main earth in. Got the SPD in earth in, which is nice because these didn't used to marry up. But now they fit the MCB. Number one way is perfect and I can work away that way. And there's our bonds that go there. I've got to get another bond in. Right, my uni light just ran out. Can't expect it to last three weeks without a charge. <laughs> got my head torch on now, which is fine. So I don't know what I was saying, but we got to bring a bond. And that's a radial socket goes in that trunk in down there. Living room does a socket on its own. Uh, this is the gas bond, which is there. Um, yeah, I'm going to work through these now. Space my circuits out. And then, as I said, I'll probably bring the shorter ones here. So I'm going to end up with some 40s and then a 16 and then a 6. But I'd rather do that than join these cables. And I really like these um, modules rather than the um, metal. I don't like the metal inserts that go in the front. Um, so these modules are good. They're just a blank MCB, basically, with nothing in it. So they, they fit really nicely. People say to me, oh, what if that mounts? But the cover... On the consumer unit has got the lid that um hinges from the top as james is is showing so it hinges from the top so the the metal is unless you put you know wedge that up that's always contained metal okay because the lid is always shut because it's hinged from the top well, i've got all our rcbos in now i've got the miniatures consuming it world the only place that have them in stock at the minute <laughs> probably not now I know they bought the first whole lot. So um, as you can see, I've got 32. I have worked it out. So um, I always do it highest load to main switch. Um, apparently it reduces heat on there, but I'm not too sure if that's true, but that's what I've always done. So we've got 32, um, that does the SPD. And then we've got the two showers, gap between. That'll be socket sockets, gap between those. Um, workshop and immersion, gap between. And then we've got three lighting circuits um gap between there obviously low load lighting circuit so um no need for a gap there but i haven't got the room anyway so at least we've got one two three four spare ways in this board which is nice for future proof so i think the client has already said they're going to get a new electric hob slash oven so that'll be a new circuit at some point well i'm at the stage where i'm starting to dress my cables in so I'm not doing this thing that I see um, a lot of people do. They go down, along, up, and then loop in. I just haven't got the length here. I've hardly cut anything off of these. Um, on a rewire, you can leave you can leave a meter at the board and and do that, which is fine. But on a this is still a retrofit, if you like, old to new board. You literally have to do what you got to do. Um, as long as you keep them neat, nice and neat, and you can identify them. As long as they go in the right numbers, I'm happy with that. Everything else is dead. Yeah, yeah. Right, um I have tested this. James, you have that if you can. I've tested this before, I've done an EICR here. Um but I'm just gonna rarify my rings again. Make sure that I've labelled them up correctly and then nothing's you know come amiss since I've been here. So I'll write these down, James. You can record these on that bit of paper. Yeah, if you give me that. So that'd be number six, yeah. Yes. That'd be lives. 0 0.75 and then we'll do the neutrals there and there give them a little squeeze turn the end of it no you... oh he's broke my pen look he's broke my nic pen that i got on my ev charging course <laughs> under pressure now james right just turn the pink bit that's it yeah that's fine pink bit. To the red bit, the red bit. <laughs> That's good, he's getting on the banter already. It's what sick. socks you got on? Just the uh, pink at the top. top of oh, that's no good. They've got to be pink at the top. They've got to be pink at the top, mate. Right, so number six, point yeah. seven five. Put a live, right, Al? Yeah. 0 0.75. Right, neutrals. 
0 0.75, which is absolutely bang on. And then we got this tinned, twisted copper. So Earth CPC 1.59. Okay. And then what we'll do, we'll move on to, we've got two ring finals here. We'll move on to that one in a minute. We'll show you that one as well. So second ring final in the house. James has got dead legs. He's gone for a run, I think. Stretch his legs out. All right, lives. Seven, seven. Neutrals. Americans call it the hot wire, I think, the live. Seven, six. And the CPC, which I've sleeved up. One point two six, so super duper. Right, so this is where we are. We've got shower, shower, sockets, workshop. I moved the sockets to there because they were a bit short. I didn't want to join anything, so they're now in there. We've got the immersion on the sixteen. Um, that went in this. I didn't even get, look, James. That went in the sixteen. I didn't even. I put the sixteen there, and it's mm. gone in there. <laughs> Then we've got our free lighting circuits, which are all fine. I've also got to incorporate that, so I'll double that up. I could come back. I will come back here, so I could bring a 16 amp and put him on his own, but it seems a shame, so I'll double him up with these sockets here. And then um, we've got to get the buzz bar in the bottom, sleeve all the earths up, and then we're going to go around with the wander lead. We've, I've already proved it, but we're going to prove again, just because James is here, it's good to show him stuff. We know the gas is there. We can physically see it. We know the main earth is good. It's there. So we've got to prove that water. And I think they've put a bond in for the showers. Um, it was like a 16th edition thing, put a bond in because it goes up with the shower cables. I've seen it in a trunk in. So we'll prove that. We're going to find that. We'll prove that to the isolators or something. Um, then we're going around do 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 load of testing, ZSs and stuff, and we're nearly there. Oh. I freaking scratched my face. Right. That must have been that cable, mustn't it? Yeah, probably. So I ended up pulling a cable and I pulled an old crimp and I went like that smack. I smacked myself in the lip, not that hairy nose hair, but I smacked myself in the face. Oh, cut me face. <laughs> James got angry with me and he punched me in the face. That's what I'm going to say. So the board's not on, but it's all there. We need to do a bit of testing first and then we're going to, um, we're just having a quick bite. But yeah, it's going all right to be fair. Oh well, it is what it is. <laughs> so, board is done. It's practical. I'm going to seal this up at the end. Um, gas cross bond and water is marked. I'm going to put this in, obviously, that end. It's got the bigger end. He goes in the main switch end, okay, like that. And just make sure you get them all in the gates. Right, Pablo has been in, connected my tails into the meat for me, which was nice. Cheers, Pablo. Uh, there's the finished board. Um, we were gonna get the, we're gonna get the fire mate in a minute and just seal that little hole up there. Look, it's quite annoying. As you can see, it's fairly neat. Um, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, that all runs nicely under there. It's all clear. Gas bond. Yeah, can't do much more with this. Bit of testing now. Uh, we're gonna seal that up with our fire mate. And yeah, superb. I'm, t I'm talking these up now. These are two. These are two, as you can see there. You've got two newton meters, yeah? So I'm working my way through. Talking these up. Let me speed this bit up. I'll just do these. And then that one didn't. There we go. It's got nothing in it. CSPD, that's the main nerve. So I'll skip first. If you look here, you've got 1.2. Can you see that? 1.2 newton meters. Oh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll set him back. Set him back to 1.2. So that is one, and then there's 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.2. So it's not much. See, I hardly did them up. Yeah. I want the torque screwdriver to do the work. Obviously, 
obviously the RCBOs are less um, torque on those than the buzz bars. That's fine, yeah. As always, the Everlex, Everbuild, Everflex, sorry. Just gonna get that in there. Right, there we go, it's all sealed up. If you do it controlled, it hasn't got to go everywhere. Um, sealed up all the gaps. So that is now fire sealed, basically. Um, quite controversial, so let me know what you think. I know a few guys on the Electrician's Forum love that. <laughs> uh, yeah. So now we're going to liven up and go around and do a bit of testing. As you see, I've left this cover off. People say about the fumes, this stuff give off. It's not, it's water-based stuff. Um, go and check the sheet online and you'll see it's not a detriment to PVC whatsoever. Everything is everything. Don't forget to put your fly lead on. for now. Well, I'm just labelling up. Yada yada. Got me little special people like them. Be void sticker. No warranty void, it's just I know someone's been in there after me. So we're all on, I'm just labelling up now. Got me spacing set, had a little practice. Um, I believe to get that space in, that was the one. No, it's that one. So fan, I've just, I just wrote fan because it won't print unless you write something. That's the perfect space in, so I'll tell you what it is. It is 18 mil and I've got 14 blocks. I've got a little separator and then we got orientation. So it does left to right. So obviously start left to right, which will be lights. Lights, lights, and blah, 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 blah. Let's have a look. Right, you gotta grab that. Got him. How are you doing, James? Good. Oh. <laughs> you need a toilet? Yeah, so do I. We're too polite, aren't we? Right, we're done on this one. We've got to now. What is the time? Do you know what the time is, mate? Oh, nearly three o'clock. Nearly three o'clock. So we got to drive 40 minutes. And then we're going up to the hospital in Oxford. We've got to do a load of more dedicated. And we'll no doubt we'll be finishing at nine o'clock again. So, yeah, tired one, but... Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to check out the discount code CGR10, Consuming It World, for Fusebot products, plus tails, glands, etc. Um, yeah, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.